This episode sponsored by our viewers. Thanks to folks like Ellie, Ivar, and Connor, we've been able to continue producing episodes. Our most dedicated sponsors are those that enjoy the show. You can show your support at everydaydrinkers.tv slash donate. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I am your host, Derek Schumer, and today we're going to create the old-fashioned. We don't often do old uh, classic recipes because there's, we just get bombarded with so many cool new recipes that it's hard to cover every classic. But the old-fashioned has been requested. They, we did do a sweet old-fashioned, number one, I believe. So let's go with the, the original. This recipe was submitted by N.W. Necrid Bourbon. That's the alcohol of choice, the alcohol of champions for this recipe. Realistically, the challenge comes in the preparation, which is cube of sugar. Ooh, pretty cool, right? Right? It's really hard. Two dashes of bitters. We're going to dash those bitters on top of our sugar cube. One, two. Let's do a third one because that's good. All right. So now you've got the bitters absorbing into the sugar. Done. So you got that out of the way. We're going to do a splash of soda water or regular water if you don't have soda water. Don't really get all stressed out over it. And what that'll do is help break our sugars down out of that cube, but still keep that nice concentrated bitters. I'm gonna muddle this. So it's really not gonna be that hard to muddle. Muddle it down, we really wanna get that nice sugary base. It's like you're building a, a bitter simple syrup. Just like that, it's like magic. If you can Carbonated imagine. bitter. Carbonated bitters. Simple syrup. <laughs> simple syrup, which all sounds awesome to me. I like the sound of that. Um, now we're gonna throw in. So we got our, we got that done. We're gonna add some ice. The complicated part part is done. This might look good with crushed ice too, if you want to do it that specific way. At that point, it's up to you. You can even maybe even do this in a smaller glass, but I'm kind of out of smaller glasses. We're gonna garnish it as well, so that's gonna be fun. So we'll do two ounces of bourbon. We're using the Basil Hayden Kentucky Straight Bourbon. You can use your favorite bourbon. I was also looking at Buffalo Trace, but I can't find it. Um, we've got some Woodford Reserve. We've got some Maker's Mark, but not can't two ounces. can't find any of your alcohol. I'm having a really tough time this week with finding alcohol. It's really going to be a small drink. I guess we could have put it in a lower glass because it's pretty simple. Right, you got that. We're going to, let's see, spritz our lemon. So we have, a, we want a lemon twist on here. And I'd like to get some of that lemon zest over the drink. Use a fresh lemon if you want a really epic, epic twist. Doo -doo. So, while we don't have a very fancy glass in this case, we do have all the rest of the ingredients to make it awesome. You can also use an orange peel if you have one. I don't. Oh, it broke! That's okay. Throw those in there. A couple maraschino cherries. Oh. Dump that in there. It's like a dessert of your the dessert portion of the cocktail. Give it a stir. Or the best part. Yes. Well, desserts are typically the best part. But it gives it nice, a little sweet on top of the sweet that's in there. Very easy, nothing special. I'd say if you have a smaller glass, go with that, because this is, this is pretty crazy looking. Lemon from the zest. Some sweetness coming through. You can definitely get that bitters. Here's an Angostura. This is kind of, if you can imagine, it, it really changes just what the bourbon is because anybody could put bourbon and ice in there. I do it all the time. But when this takes a little more effort, so you kind of get that little extra reward from doing it where you're like, yeah, that's right. I put in some extra time. I get a nice sweetness, a little bit of... Now, the bitters themselves aren't really bitter. They're not like, they're not, they don't change your face, but they do add a new dynamic to the, to the bourbon. But the end result, definite bourbon, striking bourbon, 
round it out with sweetness. You get your desserts in there, throw a little orange peel around there, maybe even burn it for a second, dump it in there. It's really all about fancy class at this point. Otherwise, it's, it's in an old fashioned and an old fashioned glass. Double your ingredients if you're crazy. That's it. That is old fashioned. Thank you, Neckard, for that one. NW Neckard, I know the NW must be. Oh, question of the day. I don't think we've asked this. What the, did we ask what their favorite? I think we've asked what their favorite bourbon is, but more importantly than your favorite bourbon, wow, well, craziness. What is the taste profile you like out of your bourbon? Do you like a more sweet bourbon? Like, Maker's Mark, especially drinking it straight. When you put it into a cocktail with 10 other ingredients, sometimes they can get lost, but what is it? Do you like a hundred proof, like, uh, what do we got over there? This guy, the Knob Creek, Knob Creek 100. I think this is a hundred proof. You know, nine batch, nine years, whatever. What is it? Strength, potency, sweetness, some sort of bite, rough, like rot gut, people might like that. Little extra oak, a lot of oak. I like the oak, I'm a big oak fan. So what do you like? What type of bourbon is your favorite? And of course, no bourbon is also an option. EverydayDrinkers.com, EverydayDrinkers.tv, Facebook.com slash cocktail TV. You can do this, this thumbs up thing to us, that'd be awesome. Anyway, we're teaching you how to drink.